Hi, I'm Carlos Huerta and this is a video tutorial for our expert facilitators to learn how to use Screencast-O-Matic to record their video presentations. Once uh, you have opened the program, you're going to see a screen like this. Uh, these are some of the recordings that I have uh, made in the past and this is the um, path that shows where uh, is the folder that where your uh, recordings are going to be stored on your computer. And this is the button that you're going to hit to hit once you are ready to start recording. Once you hit this button, what you're going to see is something like this. And I'm going to take a minute to a minute to explain this screen. First of all, you're going to see um, three buttons here: screen, webcam, and both. And where you're going to click on is this one, both, so that uh, you see both the screen of your computer and the, the webcam that is going to show you presenting on the uh, corner here down on the right side of your screen once you have done that you're going to leave this size uh, as, as it is and then you're going to make sure you choose here the microphone that you are using and you make sure that these lines in green show every time you say something that means that the system is recognizing your voice and then for computer audio I normally leave it as off but you can also uh, turn it on so that any sounds that your uh, computer produces um, are also part of the recording okay so now before you hit this button here to start recording what you're gonna do is make sure that you uh, select the area of your screen that you want to uh, record basically you're just gonna drag these um, dotted lines up and down so that you choose you select the edges of your screen making sure that uh, this bottom uh, bar is not a uh, recorder so you make sure that you drag this line up to here so that what's under the line is not recorded Another important thing that you um, that I recommend you do before you hit your uh, record button is that you already have your PowerPoint presentation on your screen. And what I mean by that is you basically go and open your PowerPoint presentation and once you have it like this, you're actually going to show it um, from the beginning. Uh, uh, one recommendation that I also would like to uh, give you is that when you create your PowerPoint you make sure that this corner here let's say this corner here in every slide doesn't have uh, text pictures are okay here but no text because when you publish it as you can see this part here is um, going to be covered by your camera that is showing you presenting so you don't want to have as part of your presentation any text in this area of the slide you can have all you have all this area to have content in every one of your of your slides okay so once you have published the um, PowerPoint and you have it already like this then you can go ahead and hit the record button and then you're going to get a um, countdown um, signal you know you're going to get a three two one and zero when you hit the zero count then you are ready to start recording and basically what you're going to do is you know welcome participants um, you're going to explain that you're the title of your course as part of the event uh, this of obviously is an example of our previous event in april but you can say welcome to this event that is going to be taking place in september and october as part of us mixed fusion professional development um, programs and uh, you explain the dates uh, your course is going to be um, offered and then the agenda for your video so this is the agenda for your video objectives of the course and then the course elements uh, you can say well you're gonna watch this video presentation and then uh, you're gonna participate throughout the week uh, 
in the three forums, the introductions forums, the Q&A and the conclu conclusions forum, as well as taking a survey at the end of the course. And then you start presenting, basically what I'm using is my fingers, uh, placing them on the right, right and left arrows on the keyboard. And basically I'm moving through the presentation as well as I am presenting. In fact, the video presentation will be no less than 20 minutes, no more than, tw no more than 30 minutes. If it is 35 minutes, it's not the end of the world, but I, I recommend that you have 30 minutes as the, the maximum of time. So you, once you have uh, finished your presentation, what you're going to do is presentation, you wrap it up and then you say, okay, so what's nef next now that you have watched uh, my video presentation, you're going to go to the introductions forum. In the middle of the week, we're going to be working in the Q&A forum as well as the conclusions forum at the end of the week. And then you say thank you and um, and you basically just um, stop the recording by clicking on the um, button. There is a blue button uh, that you cannot see now that um, ha has the pause sign. So basically you're just gonna hit that button and sorry, once you finish recording, you're gonna see something like this where you can actually, you can actually Hola, soy Carlos see Huerta, your video play. Okay, but you also have the chance to edit your video and you can do that by just going here to edit. And then you're gonna see the all the timeline of your video. You're gonna click here on the plus button so that you can see more of the, of the timeline. So basically what I did here is for every line that you see in red, I cut a little bit of, of the video. Let's say I don't like what I'm gonna say here, let's say. Okay, so that part, let's say I don't want it. I don't want to show as part of the final version of the video. So I'm gonna just gonna, gonna go ahead and cut it. I click there and cut, and then I drag with the mouse the portion of the video, in this case, this part here, that I want to delete, and I do okay. Okay, so, and, and I continue to do that until the video looks pretty good. Okay, so once you're done, what you can do is say, okay, so I'm done editing the video. I'm gonna say here, done. Okay, so what you're going to do is save it as a video file. And then uh, you make sure that here under folder, you say desktop. So that the final product, let's call it like that, it's saved on your desktop. So when you when it finished publishing, you will see on your desktop the video that then you are going to upload to YouTube. Because your uh, video is about 20, 25, 30 minutes, it's going to take a while to publish it and render it. So um, I want to say it might take 10 to 15 minutes to do this process. So please leave your computer to do this without having other programs open, without doing anything else. I'm going to give you the um, login to the US Max Fusion uh, YouTube uh, channel so that you upload the file at least uh, five days before the beginning of your course. And then here is where you're gonna click here and then select you know, you go to your desktop and then select the video that you want to upload and you upload. And it's gonna take probably, um, I wanna say, four to five minutes to upload. And once it's uploaded, then uh, you just let me know through an email that um, the file is already up. Uh, and then I will take it from there. Um, please contact me through email or uh, I can also have a Skype meeting with you if you, if you consider necessary um, so that you, in case you have any questions, I can help you record your videos successfully. Thank you and have a good day.